Cargill. I'm the Emeritus Chair of Research for the American Association of Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine. Our group, uh, our research group, has been using the PAPIMI with um, respect to various dimensions of integrative healing because it seems to cross all lines of uh, physiological, biochemical, and electrochemical phenomena that pertain to the proper operation of a living cell. The National Library of Medicine, in a report that I generated for the Healthcare Task Force in 1993, pursuant to declassifying acupuncture and electromedicine out of investigational, experimental, and unscientific status into mainstream understanding with respect to modern science. In that report, the National Library of Medicine clearly states that several converging viewpoints from these various disciplines of science have clearly shown and indicated that the body is far more than simply a collection of molecules and cells. That in fact, the body is comprised of a set of standing, stabilized electromagnetic oscillations or oscillatory patterns. And that these electromagnetic patterns, the changes in these, these patterns, occur before any morphogenesis or pathogenesis. That is to say, they precede morphogenesis or pathogenesis, the generation of normal body parts or diseased body parts. So changes in the standing wave pattern of the electromagnetic field of the body will always precede the development of a disease in the body. Now, the PAPIMI finds these simply by stimulating areas of energetic blockage toward normalcy and toward an optimum energetic range. The basis of this is best established to my mind by the work done by Drs. Harold Urey and Stanley Miller, uh, the University of Chicago, where the Nobel Prize was given in 1960, for the results of their experiment, which showed that with a collection of amino acids in uh, an aqueous environment in a reducing atmosphere of nitrogen, not oxygen, which nitrogen obligatorily existed in the atmosphere before molecular oxygen, which was dependent upon photosynthesis. So before there was chlorophyll and photosynthesis, there was a nitrogen atmosphere. And they duplicated what they felt were the primordial atmosphere and the primordial conditions upon which all life is based, upon which molecular self-assembly and the assembly of cells occurred in unicellular life. Unicellular life logically precedes multicellular life. What they found was the only missing ingredient towards molecular self-assembly, self-organization into a cellular structure or into the subcomponents of cellular structure, such as respiratory and photosynthetic pigments. It only occurred whenever there was a spark discharge, when they, when they, when they um, approached a similar energetic burst to lightning, which is a full spectrum um, phenomenon, uh, lightning releases everything from x-rays and gamma rays to radio waves and microwaves. Uh, and it also releases spectrum in the, in the visible range. So you can see it, but there's much about lightning, about spark discharges that one cannot see. And it's uh, the full range of electromagnetic uh, energy that is important in producing the chromic pigments that we associate with photosynthesis, respiration, uh, and molecular self-assembly. Ultimately, this energy provides uh, the key towards uh, what was called protonoid microspheres, where, where the, uh, the fats, the proteins, assembled and into spheres and objects that looked similar to cells and ultimately uh, were even self-replicating within the flask. This was all done in vitro or 
uh, outside of a body, inside of a test tube, inside of a flask, a series of flasks. Um, references to this can be found in Leninger's biochemistry text. And it's particularly interesting because the Papini machine produces spark discharge of a half a billion watts and half a million volts uh, and is able to facilitate the normal operation of cells by replacing the, the missing component. The 1979 journal of the Japan Medical Association, the Japan Medical Journal, and the article by Kyochi Nakagawa, MD, PhD, at Suzu Hospital, using static magnetic fields to treat diverse types of degenerative and chronic disease problems in people, was able to obtain significant results in the abatement and reduction of the severity of these symptoms and these diseases simply by placing magnets on acupuncture points around the head and neck or wherever the problem was. And the fact that magnets can do that, the static magnets can do that, uh, is quite evident that magnetic, electromagnetic field considerations are a vital and essential part of a complete therapy. And we believe at this point that no therapy is going to be complete unless it includes an electromagnetic stimulus. To my knowledge, the Papini machine is the only one of the technologies which covers the full spectrum of x-rays, microwaves, uh, visible light that basically emanates uh, into an organism and facilitates uh, cellular regeneration. We believe that it uh, enhances ATP and that it clearly stimulates mitochondrial um, activity upon which uh, all cellular bioenergetics depend. The production of adenosine triphosphate, the currency of energy for all life on the planet. Uh, these are the most compelling aspects of the ion magnetic induction that uh, we are currently investigating. And uh, it's been our pleasure to integrate this into the total repertoire of resources to provide a more effective, efficacious, and enduring healing response in our patients.